I'm someone who um, had basically a pretty happy childhood, which I think is a diff different from a lot of people who get diagnosed. I ended up moving 3,000 miles away from Oregon to Massachusetts, and um, in my first few weeks of grad school, I uh, had a amazing, crazy, spiritual, altered experience um, that landed me in a, in a hospital for my physical injuries first because I convinced myself that I could fly my car in this altered state. And then um, when I was healthy enough to walk, they transferred me to the psychiatric ward. And uh, that's when I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, um, told I would be mentally ill for the rest of my life, that I needed to take medications for the rest of my life. Um, and the reason I started with just a little bit about what led up to that was because the people in the hospital never asked a single question about that, you know, who I was before I got there. I was just um, a collection of symptoms and then a diagnosis. Um, so for me, the diagnosis felt like I was thrown out of the human race. And I think this is a pretty common experience for people early 20s, mid 20s, you know, going off to school. This was the first time I'd ever been away from home. A lot of these altered states are, are growing up. People, and, and in our society, we just don't allow our kids to really grow up. Um, we have all this fear um, with with altered states and, and whatnot, and um, I think that fear just makes it worse. And I know in my case it did. It made the, f the fear around me probably led to the point where it got to a car accident and a, you know, almost a near-death experience, and um, I could have potentially hurt other people you know, when I was driving my car in an altered state, which luckily I didn't. But, um, I just think it's really common for that to happen and a lot more common than people realize. When I got out of the hospital, I, um, I started doing research on these issues and you see that there's this whole movement of people who have gotten their lives back together, um, who've gone through similar things, been told that they're going to be mentally ill for the rest of their lives et cetera, et cetera, and now they have families, they're working, they're back into their communities. I'm now married. I have two little kids. I'm living, living a really good life. Because if you just look at mental health issues as a disease like any other disease, you can describe that in, you know, 30 seconds. and um, Makes for good sound bites and things like that. But if if you really look at the complexity of it, that yes, we are biological beings, and there's so much more that makes us human. There's, there's our social relationships, there's a spirituality, there's, there's a deeper part of being human that these issues definitely touch on. When you start to have that conversation, it just becomes there's a depth there that needs to happen. It's not, you can't capture a human being in a soundbite. So people have to be willing to have that conversation beyond um, a one-size-fits-all approach.